All right, hello there, and welcome to another Starfield mod. Today we're taking a look at the Fortuna Ship Habs by Downfall Nemesis. So this mod basically adds the Fortuna Habs from the um, uh, the Ranger quest line. If you've done the Ranger quest, there's like this really cool ship called the Fortuna, and it has like some awesome interior Habs, but sadly you can't get them. This quest uh, or this um, mod alleviates that issue by adding them in after doing a quest. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna uh basically check it out so yeah let's uh let's go check it out shall we all right so here we are in aquila city we're gonna go and grab it there's a little quest to do it so i'm gonna show you where the slate is and then i'm gonna do oh they're playing lovely How you doing? i really need to finish that quest with the ashta okay, so we're gonna just show you where the slate is and then we're just gonna do the quest myself i'm gonna like not show the quest just because you know it's a little quest mod sort of thing but i will kind of come back afterwards mostly still feels a little weird though guess i'm not used to having the tube out assuming it means under the stairs you know yeah it does okay fortuna second this so you grab this you get a little quest uh, we've got reports of a group still roaming in the Arturo system. Get one of the rangers out there to resolve this. We don't really want more of them to show up. Remember what happened last time? Coordinates are last night were attached. Cool. All right, so I'm going to go do this, and then we'll be back. All right, so just finished the quest itself, and um, it was a pretty cool quest, a little short one. Um, and it adds uh, the, the Habs into the you ship builder. Sure, how about it? Any ship builder. So we're going to take a look at them real quick. So you got the Fortuna Lobby Hab and the Fortuna Main Hab and then the Lobby Empty and the... So these are pretty big. Okay. So we're going to have to figure out how to... So I'm going to attempt to... So we've got the... Only a door on the front and a door on the side. It's gonna be tricky to build, but we're gonna try. Okay, so we've got the lobby hab, and we've got the oh no, not the lobby, the lobby hab and the main hab. I think be like error too big. so that's yeah as you can see it's it's pretty goddamn huge um you could you could I, I think you could build a ship around it but it would be very funky so we're gonna go check out the habs and stuff um and then we're going to check the empty habs so let's Do like a, I was just thinking, you could do like a Harry Potter's end situation where like it's bigger on the inside. That's not the fucking ship, goddammit. it. Heck. Right, so we're inside the ship and. What? Okay, so apparently we're inside the ship, but. those side entrances aren't entrances at all unless i've it lined up wrong i've it lined up wrong we'll be back all right so we're gonna check out the lobby hub first so in we go the lobby parts i will say real quick actually before i i do this um if you don't want any spoilers of the hab i would recommend doing the freestar ranger quest line first you don't have to but it's just it's pretty cool when you kind of come across it for the first time so yeah that that being said let's go check it out so this is the entrance area uh over here we have a, hold on a minute we got another little entrance area here this is yeah this is the lobby this is real mod author did an awesome job 
Terminals, like, I'm assuming the terminals aren't gonna work. We got the rec room in here. Because I think one of the one of the one of the reasons to, why you can't unlock the you can't unlock the uh, the ship is because the ship is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Over here we have security room. Some. These cool, like the flower section, which is really nice. Okay, so yeah, so this is this is the main lobby. I don't think would you be able to put two together? Mm, potentially, you'd be able to put two of them together, but it'd look really funky. Right, so now there is. You put them on top of one another, but I'm assuming I'm not going to be able to kind of jump up to them. Right, so we're going to go check out the other one now. Just a lot of doors. Oh, oh. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so placement is very finicky with this one. Wait, here's the entrance. And we have the main area. This looks awesome. Three down below. Nice that the first have very refined Excuse me, refined takes. So it's very, very fancy. Fire here. There you So I'm assuming what they mean is, so there used to be a bar up there, right there, but that's like a garden, which it looks really cool. And then we'll go to the bedroom. Yeah, and then the bedroom is like, I want to say it's like a lot smaller. It still looks awesome. All right, so now we are going to go and check out, there's one actually, there's something. Okay, there's a slight FPS drop in that room. It's probably down to the lighting. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and check out the um, the uh, empty hubs down. We'll be right back. All right, so this is the empty lobby. You can see there's no furniture. You can kind of customize it to your liking. Completely bare bones. Thing is with this mod is if you're if you're if you've modified your uh, files your your game files to have a larger ship size or like building M class ships these habs would be really really useful for that sort of stuff. But if you are kind of a vanilla player, um, well somewhat vanilla player like myself, um, then you are probably going to want to. Like, building a ship would be tricky. You could definitely do it. I don't think you'd be able to use both halves together. If you did, it might be too long. We will check, though. See if tell me this one place, right? right. 
and then this is the empty normal version. Oh, did I just place the same one twice? God damn it, I did. I am an absolute moron. We will be back. Alright, so here is the empty variant. It still has like the fur the garden stuff and the trees. But it's got no furniture, so you can build this room. I think it's the lighting on the room. It's kind of like drops the fame my frame rate by like from 60 to like 40 48 so like it's what like a 20 percent drop which is like not a huge issue but you know if you're on xbox that might be a bit annoying yeah that's pretty cool i probably would prefer the furniture version furnished version just because i'm not very good at decorating uh, we're really quickly gonna go on. I'm just gonna show you kind of how it looks and the size and seeing if you can build a ship of it All right, so let's let's now see we're gonna delete everything. We're gonna put down a single hat So a single hat by itself is 25 meters by uh, 13 meters Now if we were to add both of them together like side by side like so um, It's 25 by 25 so that you could potentially make a ship let me see this is gonna look very janky we'll put a docker yes there's no place for an actual docker there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to basically make a kind of a have to make a uh, Up one like so. Put a doctor up on top like so. Cockpit. Just use any cockpit real. Need a bay. Bay there. What are we missing? Grab drive engine reactor. Then we could just get. Can we slap all these on top, I wonder? Okay, we can. Okay, so we can slap them on top. Thanks. So you can, like, the thing is, like, with using one of the halves, you can definitely make use of, um... You could definitely make a functioning ship. Now, using both, it's gonna be very tricky without using some sort of mod. Uh, you would you would realistically need a, a mod to um issue what oh it's gonna say class drive Staff any any class for the moment it's snapping on it is a little strange we can just slap you so yeah so like as you can see there with the cockpit sticking out you can make kind of a, a little hab the one thing to note with this is you're going to have to it's gonna it's gonna have to look something like that which like I mean, realistically, you could, if you see how it's in the mission, there's a really cool ship. I won't spoil it, like I said. But you could kind of make, like, maybe, like, a kind of a... Um, almost like kind of a yacht, like a, like a, basically, like a space yacht type thing with, like, it's just, like, being pulled around by, like, a tug. You have a little bit of space with it. Now, obviously, I mean, we could potentially... Let me, let me make, try and make this a little bit more... Grab these. Put them there. Extend this out one more. Here. Uh, 
and then we'll go here. Yeah, like you could you could you could definitely modify it. It would just look uh very funky. Because you have you you basically like with this current configuration you've got five meters left over. But it's like I said, it is it's it's you, you could definitely do it. it. It obviously would be far easier with um with a mod that allows you to customize. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um as always, uh, let me know if you have any issues on it, specifically on Xbox. I know Xbox, sometimes mods can handle differently. And if you have made a ship around it, I would love to see it. If you want to join uh, the Discord, link in, my or link in my bio. It's called Startle Anonymous. And if you hop in and we have a section where you can share uh, ships, because it'd be kind of cool just to see from the exterior how you kind of got around building it. Whether it's like, you know, whether you're playing vanilla and you've got like a really kind of small tug or whether you're playing a modded and you have a massive kind of you know pleasure yacht type thing but yeah as always thanks for watching guys and catch you in the next one uh, bye bye